What's going on, everyone? All right, we're back with some more Trails to Azure. It's your boy Top Cat the Gamer. We're going to get right back into it. We came here um, to visit Garcia at the prison after, you know, his this whole thing happened with him and Lloyd breaking out. So let's go in here and hear what he had to say. Keep in mind that making direct contact with the incarcerated party or exchanging objects of any kind is strictly prohibited. Understood. All right, then. Yeah, thank you for telling cops that. Rossi, <laughs> Rossi, you have visitors. Send them in. <laughs> Hello, Garcia. Ah, we meet again, kid. Good to see you managed to round up your pals. Whoa there, big fella. You sure you should be sitting up right now? We heard you had a pretty nasty run in with the defense force. I've been better. Wouldn't exactly call a bare knuckle brawl against rifles and stun halberds uh, stacked in my favor. Hell, just sitting up is a struggle. What an embarrassment I am. Given what you endured, the fact that you can move at all is impressive. Uh, after seeing what the killing bear can do firsthand, I'm honestly not surprised. That's it. This appears to be the extent of his range of motion at the present. I still owe you my thanks, Garcia. If you hadn't helped me escape this place back then, I'm not sure how I, how I ever would have made, uh, found my friends that alone make it this far. You came all the way here just to say that? I told you, our little partnership was over the second we got past the front gate out of the prison. In my eyes, you're still the punk bastards who took down Ravachi. That ain't never gonna change, got it? So you say, but that doesn't mean I can't express my gratitude. So thank you, Garcia. It's because of you that all of us are here together again. And now that we are, we're going to reach the truth, resolve this incident, and protect Crossfell. I promise you that. Makes me sick to my stomach how much you remind me of him. I can see it in your eyes, the tenacity. The way he wouldn't throw in a towel no matter what anyone said. How hard his ass got beat. Or how hard his ass got beat. It was a spitting image of your brother. Uh, Bannings, through and through. Damn, old man. I'll take that as a compliment. Can't believe you got me to say that sappy garbage out loud. <laughs> Don't you have somewhere else you gotta be right now? Can't make good on that promise if you're hanging out here. So go on, beat it. Right, I get the message. Let's go, everyone. Damn, old bear still uh, holding it together. A lot better than I thought he'd be. You're right. I'm sure he'll fully recover and be back on his feet before long. Still, the real surprise was seeing Garcia Rossi, of all people, dish out the pep talk. He's definitely changed since we first met. With all the crazy things he's gone through this year, it only makes sense. What? Why are all of you looking at me like that? The way you just said it, do you sincerely believe that it has nothing to do with you? Lloyd does have that kind of effect on people. Huh? Come on, man. Being a baby-faced lady killer is one thing. But did you seriously become a bear tamer while you were behind bars, too? <laughs> Some things never change. That's funny. Alright, we're gonna head back over here. Speak to uh, him and give him these. I think that's it. I keep on. I, I, I really feel like I'm. Well, would you look at that? You kids are giving me a whole buffet of peculiar dishes by now. It should be more than enough to help uh, the forensic class out with their training. Uh, with their training. Thanks for coming. Uh, I'm mean, thanks for really cooking up a storm. Sorry, don't mention it, one. I'm always happy to lend a hand to the old alma mater. 
commendable as ever, aren't we? You haven't changed a bit since those days, Lloyd. But at the very least, let me give you something as a token of my appreciation. It's an Enigma 2 Quartz we recently put into service. They provided us with one extra, so I want you to have it. Ah, Shroud, okay. Thanks, Warren. We'll be sure to make good of use of it, yeah. It's the least I could do for all of your help. The next time I need a hand, I know who to call. All right, I will gladly stick that on Tio. An absolutely great quartz. I already have one, but this is going to make this even better. Yep. All right. Now we got two shrouds, so nobody should notice us. We should be able to sneak around on the battlefield. Let's go speak to Yuna. Oh, hey, SSS. I heard you guys were the ones who managed to liberate the city. And now you're off to finally put an end to all the turmoil here in Crossville. Which means you're headed to the giant tree to rescue Kia, aren't you? Yeah, we are. I'm guessing Marae or Sonya caught you up on all that. Even then, you seem to be quite unfamiliar with Kia's circumstances. Yeah, we've had a lot of time to bond whenever I go pick up Ken and Nana from Sunday school. I can't believe what they put her through, propping her up as some divine child or whatever after we became independent. It's not like I fully get everything that's been going on or why, but I know she's waiting on you to come rescue her. So do us all a favor and bring her home. And give her uh, an extra big hug for me, too. Yet another life that Kia and the SSS have touched. Thank you, Juan. I think we need to hear that. I don't know why I said Juan. I mean, you know. We plan to fulfill our duties to the best of our ability. You make sure you do the same, okay? Right. Just leave it to me. I'll help out on the ground however I can. All right. That is the last time we need to come here. I need to figure out what um, recipes I'm missing. Oh, yeah. Let me. No, there's some. Uh, there's a chest on this road. I need to find. There it is. Now this is the hardest chest. Um, I may need to go get some stuff. As a matter of fact, let me put in, um, something okay uh okay so the enemy you're facing here is gonna um be uh some um master si uh i forget this siron chiron whatever which one it is um and they yeah should i take wazi out Uh, yeah. So we want to do. We want to spread everybody out. I actually think I'm gonna um put Wazi in his place. All right, now the thing about these things, they got two different things that they use. One is diamond dust, and then they heal themselves. How much I do know about them. Um, so if your party's not all up together, you don't have to worry about it. Let's go. Um, 
I don't know if I want to get her this close to him. Yeah, it's a, it's Siron, a, a Cryon, Master Cryon. I don't know why the hell I was skipping the whole damn R. Uh, let's see. It was just every damn thing, just about. I'm gonna see how these other um yes. and there's no point in trying to not get them to do their uh, attack they're gonna do it and even if you um manage to stop them I think I've already done this like once. Hopefully, this kills him. Got a couple of them. I mean, sheesh. Well, I would call in Zite. You know what? Let's call in Zite. Now oh, he comes in his super form. His uh, heavenly beast form. Nice. Um, yeah, let me move you up out of the way here. The Mercury Bill. As a matter of fact, mm. no, we're good. All right, let's get on out of here. I walk right into the damn thing. <sighs> Probably should have went back to the academy and turn back around.
All right. Um. Yeah. Let me fix my party back. How the hell did I have him set up? Alright, so now we're gonna head to St. Ursula. And we head inside. My apologies, everyone. I'll have to excuse myself here. Are you sure, Risha? Still not ready, huh? Wait, Risha. Why not come with us? The least you could do is hear, hear Ilya's voice again. Hear her voice? You don't think you'll be ready to face her un until the dust is settled, right? I get why you feel that way, and I respect your decision. But would standing outside of Ilya's room while we visit and hearing what she has to say go against that? Uh huh. Good question, Lloyd. It doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. We're already we've already come this far. Can't you just reward yourself just a little? Yes, keep in mind that our toughest battles are still to come. Ilya is one of the people you're fighting for. Surely it would give you strength to hear it from her. I don't see why not. As long as uh, she doesn't see you and you don't you don't speak to her with her, you wouldn't be going against your vow. If you keep putting this off, it might be too late by the time you change your mind. You're right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I'll do it then. I'll come along and I'll stand outside the room while you visit her. If you don't mind, that is. Of course we don't. Yeah, now let's go see you, Ilya. All right. Um, just trying to make sure before I do all this, where I got everybody's stuff at. Clearing a lot of this stuff out. Yeah, the only uh, person... I went and saw everybody else's bonding thing. The only one I didn't get was Wazzy's. Which sucks. Okay, so you fill this whole thing up. That's that's why you're getting all these accessories from all uh, five of these different girls. We already got one from Fran, uh, Sully, and Kia. So now, that's what we're coming in here to do. Let's go find Cecile. Hey, Olia. I'm busy escorting pa any patients who haven't been able to come to the hospital till now. That applies to more people than I expected. As it turns out, it's going to take me several trips to help them all. You're really going above and beyond. Try not to overexert yourself, Aeolia. Oh, God. Loving words full of concern from my darling Tio. Her reactions are always so blunt and calculating. And yet underneath it all is a care and sweetheart. I'm beginning to think that she and Chief Rouse will get along well. Yeah, they do have a thing for Tio. Uh, where is she at? Is that where? Oh, that's Mayfa. Saron. Nah, 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 nah. Move on. Where in the hell did she go? She must have been outside then. Yeah, there she is. So this is where you were, Cecile. Hello, Lloyd. I had to come out and have a look at the tree for myself. I've never seen anything like it. The sight of it is completely alien, yet somehow soothing, almost endearingly so. It pains me uh, that I can empathize. Bell did say that the tree is key itself. Put that way, um, sorry, put that way, maybe it's not such an inexplicable feeling after all. Say, Lloyd, you're all headed there, aren't you? That's right. 
Somewhere in that tree we'll find Kia, as well as the truths that we've been looking for. No matter how dangerous it may be, we can't turn back now. We have to keep moving forward. I understand. But if we're being completely honest, I want nothing more than to keep you here with me, away from away from the danger. Three years ago, I lost some I lost someone I love very dearly. I can't bear to go through that again. Cecile. But I know if God were with us today, he'd be doing exactly the same thing that you are. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you leap into action without a second thought to protect what's most dear to him. You're right, Cecile. So that being the case, I want you to promise me one thing. That you'll come back safely with Kia's smiling face and toe. If you can give me a word on that, I'll stay right here, waiting patiently for you to return. It's a promise. Just give us some time, and we'll be back before you know it. This is going to be our most difficult battle yet, but we will prevail. That's right. Nothing is going to stop us from bringing Kia home. We've also got to beat some sense in the Arios, too. I suppose somebody has to. He gonna get, he gonna get fucked up. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I can be at ease now. And as a little symbol of our promise, I want you to have this. Valiant heart. What's this, Cecile? A present God gave me when I took my final exam in nursing school. Whenever I feel I'm in uh, I'm in need of his personal brand of strength and courage, I just take this pen in my hand and clutch it tight. It's very precious to me. So as a part of our promise, I want you to bring it back safely with you. It'd be our honor. Uh, we'll make sure to return this once everything's settled. Good. And may the goddess, I mean, they made blessings of the goddess be with you all. Okay. If I remember right. Ooh, it's a hundred to everything. But no um prevent element. Nasty. Hmm. God, that sucks. This would be so great on um one of them. Yeah, I'm going to have to shoot. Go so good on Randy too. I got this grail locket on him. I probably can hold that off until a certain point where I probably need it. It's not a bad. It's not bad to have in, in play though. Let's see. He's at sixteen. Yeah, I could throw this on Randy and get away with that. Anything that gets him hidden harder is a blessing for me. Um, and let's see. Oh, you know what? I probably could put her on Wazi. What the hell is the same thing? Did I take it off her? Oh, I didn't. I thought I did. Let
Okay, that gets her to 80 something. Hmm. Damn, Wazzy. Yeah, and I did have it on her. That's right. I'll go back with our, what I originally had on her. Okay, and throw it on Lloyd. I don't like that Lloyd's um. Yeah, that does suck. That'll work. And hmm. yep. Crap. <laughs> okay, so ninety two speed. Okay, sixteen. I'm good with that for now, anyways. I might end up changing it. I was all about getting Wazzy's magic power up. The more, the more powerful his magic is, the more, um. His uh, Kashik arm hurts when you do his uh, S craft. Okay, that's cool for right now. Um, let's go visit uh, Ilya. God, you get these nice accessories. I'll stay behind while you go inside. Of course, whatever you're comfortable with. Trust us. We won't let uh, we won't let on that you're out here. I was wondering where all of you were. I could tell things have taken a turn for the worse. They're saying some bizarre giant tree sprouted up out of nowhere. Yeah, the situation is complicated at the moment. To tell you the truth. We don't have the answers ourselves. As much as we'd like to, we can't say for certain that the hospital is safe either. Take care of yourself, Ilya. We hate for something to happen to you again. Don't you worry about me yelling. I don't know exactly what's going on out there, but I do know that you kids are going to pull through. As long as you, um, as you keep on fighting, the things that matter most to you are always within your reach. The same goes for me. I'm not giving up until I take the stage again. You're in the final act now, boys and girls. Get out there and finish what you started. Thank you, Ilya. Hell yeah, nothing like a pep talk from a fervent dancer to get you raring to go. By the way, there's a certain someone over there who's so worried. She just couldn't stay away, am I right? <laughs> yeah, like... Ilya, how did you... You could tell? I don't know who it is, but they must be a little shy, a shy little sweetheart. One who's ironically reserved in spite of that strikingly perfectly body of theirs. <laughs> Doesn't know my ass. <laughs> so much for her not noticing her. Well, mystery stranger, whoever you are, you should know that I've already started my re rehabilitation. So if you don't keep practicing, I'm going to catch up and pass you again in no time. 
If you don't want to be left behind, you had better settle things quickly so we can finish what we started. One more thing, take care and look after yourself because no matter how strong you are, you're still a young girl. But that's it, just like on our stage, there is some strength uh, that only a woman can show. As long as you remember that, I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sorry, Yoya. Well, I think I've taken up enough of your valuable time for one visit. You all had better be careful too, little guy. I don't want to find out that you made my darling Cecile cry, you know? We won't, Ilya. Wouldn't dream of it. She, what, she holding back the tears? I owe you an apology, Risha. I never imagined she'd be able to notice you from outside the room. You were trying to conceal your presence with that magical yin woo ha. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, warrant you. <laughs> How the heck did she catch on? Simply put, it's a genius. She probably knew it from me at the sound of my footsteps and the pattern of my breath. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> After all, synchronizing our breathing is something we're used to doing uh, when we perform. If only she could be this sharp and attentive to things unrelated to the stage, too. She could be a little untidy behind the scenes. Such things are uh, what we have come to expect from Ilya. She really is full of surprises. Hmm. Yes. Her words are, uh, were just that. I, uh, it was just what I needed to strengthen my own resolve. I'm ready, everyone. Let's go. We're right there with you, Risha. Every step of the way. Are you serious? Hey, little guy. You're just the man I wanted to see. Do me a favor and take this. Oh, yeah, go back and talk to her. I was like, wait, what? What's this? It's the hair ornament I was wearing on stage during my first night as an Arkansas uh, Conceal's lead performer. I've been holding on to it ever since. It keeps me. It helps me keep the same resolve I had with me that night. It's quite the collector's item, you know. I'll say, there's some nuts who would kill to get their hands on this thing. Ilya, I can't just take something like this. Not when it's important to you. Oh, it's fine. Think of it as a gift for all you've done for me. I want you to carry it with you as a good love charm, okay? All right, thank you, Ilya. I'll cherish you. All right, and we got the trophy for the girls. All right, we got all their gifts. Um, I think this one does magic, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I think we can go ahead and, and I think it surpasses this to give to Tio. It does. Um, Ooh, that's strength and that. Mm. Yeah, I might have to switch this up. Well, one does accuracy. God damn it. <laughs> Man, these things are throwing me for a loop now because I'm like, dang, maybe I can get this one. Hmm. But the strength on it that could help Ilya too. I'm not him to Ilya, but Ellie. Crap. I'll stick it on her for right now. Mm. Let me see what he's at right now without 
having it because I really do want him to keep any spell. I could probably throw an attack quartz onto him. Last disaster is something that'd be good to have. Alright, that'll work. In about 30, 30 is good. Alright, sorry about that. <clears throat> Alright, uh, well, shit, where did I go? Alright, now we gotta, um, head out and go get uh, the rest of these shards. Try to make it as quick as I can. We'll take the Macabre. And the last thing I'll do is the, those last recipes. Once I figure out what the hell they are, go to Morka Village. Oh, that's Scott. I was gonna say, I've been looking for a way to deal with the Paroma grass in these lotus fields. Problem is, the moment you weed out, it grows right back. If only we can get rid of it altogether. Agreed. Removing those plants should be a top priority, seeing as though they're known to cause cryptids to appear. Yeah, I'm gonna try some things out for now and see if I can make any progress. Oh, by the way. There's something I want you all to know. It's time. I'm ready to set a date. It's time not with Pearl. I haven't actually uh, brought it up to her yet with everything going on, but preparations are already underway. Congratulations to you both. Thanks. I think this latest round of drama reminded me how much I love her. She's the one I'm fighting to protect. You'll get your invitations once the date is set. I hope you can make it. Yeah, and he eventually does marry her. Um, in Reverie, you actually get to meet their child. Good old Scott. Now, if you come over here to the Ash Tree Inn, you head upstairs. Make sure you have Wazi in your party. And there's some people here. Kevin and Reese. Wait, is that Reese? So this is where you two have been. The SSS. What's up, Wazzy? Lloyd? How's it going? He's so damn casual. We heard about your victory. Yeah, because for shooting down that uh, hot flying A out of the sky. It truly is a spectacular feat. Well done. Thanks. We didn't exactly come out of it unscathed, though. I had to go all out, so I'm pretty drained right now. It's gonna take me a bit to recharge. <laughs> I was did mention something about that. The power you have uh, comes at a great cost, correct? Let me guess. You channel your stigma's power into the uh, the macabre and release it all at once. Oh, Kevin. How reckless can you get? Last thing the Grawls Ritter need is for the fifth spot to be vacant again. It was that dangerous? It was. Stigmas are a source of forbidden power that is difficult uh, for the human body to contain. There's a limit to how much of it can be released at one time. A dominion should never be so foolish or reckless, a rec I'll say reckless, <laughs> I'll say reckless, reckless, as to push to that limit. Not a responsible one, anyway. Burn. Sheesh, Reese. I said I was sorry. Give me a break already, will you? She's really got your number. The Gros Raiders' dominions are a far cry from what I've heard about them. In other news, how about that last second twist down in the wetlands, huh? 
the azure tree, a miracle born of mankind's absence. It's unthinkable that being uh, that any being apart from Adios could manifest something like that. And that his core is key is power. That's right. In all honesty, we have yet to come to terms with it ourselves. But even still, we plan to close this case our way. This is personal for us. Not just as the SSS, but as Kia's families. I never doubted it. You made oh, your stance pretty clear the last time we were face to face. Our macabre, our Markaba, uh, is going to be out of commission for a while. We'll come lend you a hand though, if we can get back, uh, get it back up and running. And even if we don't, I know Adios will be protecting you. Be careful, everyone. You got it, Reese. We'll be, we'll just be going in. All right. Um, what the hell? Yeah, he just said that. And Wazi, you better not do anything too crazy out there. Take it from me. Blow through your power all at once, and it's gonna not it's gonna hurt. If it uh, doesn't outright kill you, that is. Right. I'll take that to heart. Oh yeah, before I forget, take this Lloyd. There's another one. Yo, for real? Where'd you get this? Found it where the Aeon crashed. It probably broke off on its impact. I picked it up, thinking you might be able to put a good use. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But go ahead and, have, and you can have it anyway. Well, if you insist. Thanks, Father Kevin. All right, so that's another shard. I think it makes two or three. One of them. All right, and let's get on out of here. That's the only thing we really need to do here. All right, and we're going to head to mines. Go see some more friends. All right, let's head to the inn. And I think we need to go downstairs. Uh, one of these doors. Uh, would be this one. And there they are, Joshua and Estelle. Oh, hey guys. Hello. Estelle, Joshua. So this is where you went after the operation. We heard you guys lay waste to one of those ions. Indeed, with Potomotor, you all must make a form formidable team. Yeah. Well, it's true that we wouldn't be here if not for his sacrifice. Huh? Come and think of it, where's Ren? Fast asleep. Oh, he's there. Maester Yorg. I, I don't know if it's George or Yorg. I, I said Yorg, so, I, so forgive me if I butcher it. If you weren't aware, uh, you were here. Well, I am at their request. Despite the chaos outside, I couldn't stay away after Potomata's death. The archaism died? Wait, so you mean... Yeah, he grabbed that blue Aeon, dragged it up into the clouds with him, and then he self-destructed completely of his own volition. So that's what happened. That machine opted to sacrifice itself? Potter, Potter. She's probably been crying for hours, huh? Poor girl, poor, um, poor girl must be tuckered out by now. Of course she is. The two, uh, the two were very, uh, were so close, they were practically inseparable. Potomata resigned itself to his fate. I cannot help but admire the heart it displayed in choosing to give its own life to protect that girl. As a doll maker, I couldn't be prouder. We've been getting in reports about what's going on. Things have gotten worse, have they? I mean, haven't they? We'd be happy to lend you some help once we fully recovered. Thanks, you two. But you don't have to worry about that. Aw, oh, man! 
Your health should be our, your top priority right now. Take all the time you need. I'm not saying we want to end up like little Mrs. Doll, but taking keto back is something we got to do on our own. No hoes barred. Damn. We can respect that. Good luck, guys. Be careful out there. May the guys protect you all. All right, speak to Joshua again. We were told that the Professor Novartis has already left Crossville, too. It must be a relief to know that you won't have to deal with the society from here on. To be honest, we're not even sure what their goal wa here was. Though from the sound of it, their sights are squarely set on the Empire. The Phantasmal Blaze Plan. What they did in Crossville may have only been the first ripple of a much larger scheme. I hope Olivier and the others are alright. When you say Olivier, you're talking about Prince Oliver, yeah? That's right. We haven't been able to get in contact with him since the Civil War began and Erebonia began. He's probably not in any danger as long as Muriel is with them. But then again, it's natural to be worried given the circumstances. Oh, that reminds me. You all should have this. There's another one. Where'd you get this? We found it near the uh, Potomata, uh, where Potomata passed away. I'm assuming they broke off the Aeon. Maybe you can find a good use for it. I see. We'll try our best to. All right. That's really all we can do with them. Lots of conversations here. Sheesh, man. It's some of them are long, long, long. All right. And now we're going to visit Belgard Gate. We're getting there. All right, we got to go visit Sonya here. Don't think we get a shard from her, though. And she's not in her room this time. She should be on the roof. And there she is. Commander Bells, I was wondering where you were. Ah, uh, hello there, SSS. Look at what that thing did. Damn. <laughs> Quite the view, ain't it? We saw it happen, too. That white Aeon obliterating the railway guns in the blink of an eye. She didn't do it herself, but Kia's power is still the cause of this. We received some intriguing intel from the Empire that you may like to hear, but we have no way to confirm it. There are soldiers unaccounted for, but the Imperial Army has yet to confirm a single casualty as a result of the Ion's attack. How is that possible? Are you saying they could still be alive? Given what happened to the fortress, it would have to be a miracle. Again, that isn't confirmed, nor do we understand what happened during the attack from a scientific standpoint. But the matter that was affected by the White Aeon's ability to manipulate space may not have been destroyed per se. If that is the case, then Kia may have influenced the miracle subconsciously. Huh. I am sure Erebonia is suffering enough due to the war. Uh, it would be a relief if their soldiers... Uh, could be returned. By the way, I heard the good news. Your operation in Crossville City was quite the success, it seems. It went better than we ever could expect. We wouldn't have pulled it off if not for you, Commander. It was your slip of the tongue that allowed us to pursue the Declaration of Invalidity. Please, I didn't do anything of note. Everything you have achieved is of your own doing. I have merely commanded the Crossville Defense Force in accordance with the orders I have been given by the President. Now that the state's independence has been called into question, I may not be fit to serve in this position any longer. Wait, what are you saying? That will be going a bit overboard, don't you think? You needn't worry. I fully understand what it is required of me here now. As for what I'll do when all this is over, however, that's harder to say. Regardless, for the time being, I will carry out my role as commander to the best of my ability. All right. We're going to get out of here really quick. We got a stop to go make.
We head back to Crossville City. And we head to the Entertainment District. Oh shoot, wrong way. Um, where is the other hotel? This is Millennium. No, that's in Michelin. I'm tripping. I came to the wrong damn place. Um, you know what? Yeah, let me go to the garage. I don't know why I was getting it mixed up. All right, head to the Michelin Resort. Sorry about that. I don't think you should get attacked or anything else here. And you can head to the Hotel Delfina. And you come over here. This is the fortune teller is here. Those books you have on you. Would they happen to be from uh, the Sunshine Agnes series? I see them around the city from time to time. What you mean, these novels? They are. It just so happens we've gathered every volume. Well, isn't that wonderful? I've had the privilege of leafing through one of them before. It was quite an insightful read. The story of fic is fiction, of course, but I couldn't help but feel in a bit of kinship with the heroine. In any case, I have decided to remain here as a spectator of these events unfolding at Crossbell. That series would make for a lovely bit of light reading to pass the time with. We do have the entire collection. Should we hand it over to her? We will. Here you are, miss. We'd like you to have these. Oh, are you positive about this? If Lloyd thinks so, then yes. Most of them we received as gifts anyway. Yep, so go ahead, babe. Read your heart out. If you insist, I'll gladly accept them. Okay, we hand it over. It would be rude of me to accept these without offering you anything in return. And I couldn't possibly have that, so take this. Now she gives you an outright Zemirian ore, so we don't have to put them together to make one. Wait, is this? It fell into my hands some time ago in my other line of work. You may take it if you like, though I cannot say if you'll find a use for it. Are you sure you're okay with that? It seems like it could be valuable. Oh, it's quite all right with me. After all, I am but a witness to how the, this turmoil and crossbell will unfold. Granting you this small gift should hardly qualify as in interfering. Ignore me. I'm simply thinking out loud. Be sure to take good care of it. We will. Thank you very much. Now, this is Lucy Yola from um, the Trails in the Sky games. She's a part of Ouroboros, and she was... Um, her and Charizard from the uh, Sky Games were very close. After her defeat, she, def well, I ain't gonna say she defected just yet, but she did leave Ouroboros and she hasn't been back since. She's kind of just been on the sidelines watching things. And, you know, they don't tell you outright that it's her. That's why, but she's covering her face and kind of just watching things as it goes along. So I thought it's very interesting to see her sitting here chilling like, like, you don't know it's me. You don't know it's me. <laughs> All right, and if we go to the Castle of Mirrors back here. I also don't know if, if there's enemies in this place. The grass is still here, so it's possible. But if you open that door from the last time... I thought I did, but I did not, apparently. Damn it. God, this is gonna suck. Well, Shroud is helping hide me, so they're not exactly attacking.
I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I just, uh, I'm just going. <laughs> yeah, okay, this should be it. Right, so you go up here to the top of it. Right there, there's another shard. But it's this door right here. And it just leads you down a winding stair. This should take you through that middle door. I tried to go in first. I thought I opened that door. But I guess I didn't. Yeah, but it just takes you through the uh, whole thing and say you're having to go back through all that. Oh, I'm sorry. And then go straight out here. And there it is. It pops open. Okay, maybe I... I thought I did go through that area. But that's another shard. Now we can go ahead and leave here. And there is... We got to head to the rail railroad tracks. And that's where another shard is. These are the last little bit of things that we have to do. We're almost done with preparations. Um, okay, now from here, let's head on to where the, um, the railroad tracks, this is where, um, Estelle and Joshua fought the, uh, the ion. Nope, not there. Here we go. And look for something shiny around here. I don't know if it may be in the second part. <laughs> that scene is always funny when you got it. Where is it? There it is. You see all the damage here. There it is, right there. Yeah, it's right. It's, you gotta really be looking for it. It's around this little area. All right. And I think... I'm trying to think of where the last one is. I think that's it. All right. So in the, in, in the next vid, I'm going to be tackling the last couple of monster quests. And, um... I'm going to figure out off screen what these last two recipes are and I'll point them out to you and show you what you get from this other thing as well. But I'm going to end here. Thank you all for rocking with me. I appreciate everybody checking out the vids as always. If you are new to the channel, tap that like button. Subscribe if you're not. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.